Hey everyone, Craig Reckless. Um, today I'm going to do a lesson on Hotel California. A really, really, really popular song, Hotel California. But I'm going to do two versions, so stick around for this. I'm going to have two versions. I'm going to have the version without a capo. So if you don't own a capo, which is this little thing here, um, it's, we'll get into that later, but this is what a capo is. So if you know, if you have a capo, well, I'm doing the capo version second. So the first version I'm going to do is the, the standard way, like this isn't the way uh, the Eagles do it, but if you're going to do it yourself, play it out acoustically, you, you know, you might want to play it this way, then, then you can. So this is the basic uh, chords that are behind Hotel California. So I'm going to show you what the chords are in uh, standard tuning or without a capo because it's still in standard tuning. Um, so, we're going to do the first chord, it's going to be B minor. Okay, now if you don't know what those are, I'm going to have a link, a description underneath. I'll have a, in my description, I'll have a link with all these chords, so that'll help you right out. So I'm just going to buzz right through this, make this quick. So it's going to be B minor. And it's going to be F sharp. That's gonna be E. That's gonna be a, a G. That's gonna be a D. That's gonna be an E minor. That's gonna be an F sharp again. So I'm gonna buzz through that again real slow. So it's gonna be B minor. So you can play the B minor up here. I'm gonna Or you can play the B minor here. So B minor, F sharp, and F sharp right here. Right here. Alright, I'm gonna give you options now. So F sharp. Then it's gonna be A. There's an open A, there's an A, then there's an E, then there's a G, it could be an open G or a G, or it could be a G, then it goes to a D, there's a D there on the scale one, there's a D here, or an open D, okay, and I'm really confusing the crap out of you, aren't I, then there's an E minor, all right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna buzz that again. I'm gonna I'll do I'm gonna stick it all to the scale one stuff. So um, like I said, I have a link for the descriptions. I'm gonna buzz through it real quick again. So I'm gonna confuse you some more. So this is the verse. The verse is gonna be B minor, F sharp. Not the chorus, that's the verse. So here's the chorus. The chorus is going to be it's a G to the D, E minor, B minor, that's going to be a G. Chorus again is going to be G to D to E minor to the B minor then G to the D to E minor to F sharp. No, you give you can give yourself options. So here's a G. You can make that a G. Or you can make that a G. You you make the song your own. You all right? So now I'm going to show you. The capo version, all right. And I always say that make the song your own because you know what? When you're playing it in front of somebody, 
it's going to be you doing it. So it's going to be your rendition of the song. So do it what best suits your voice or whatever. So make it yours, you know, even though you didn't write it. It's your song for the night. So now I want to show you the capo version. So now when I, I'm capo in the 7th fret. So we're going to take the capo we're going to cap, capo in the 7th fret. So now I'm going to call the chords out. So the chords are... The chords are in in the key I, I just told you, okay? But So now I'm going to confuse you some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out chords the way you would play them if you were playing them without a capo. So remember that. I'm going to sh call out chords with this capo the way you would play them without a capo. So I'm going to call... So the first chord on here with the capo is going to be a C. In, in this, so that's not key if I say C, but with the capo, I'm going to put the capo on. So the first chord is going to be a C. Or wait a minute. So this, this, I'm doing a chorus. I'm looking way ahead of you. All right, so the first chord, let me just try this again here. All right, so the, the first chord with the verse with the capo is going to be E minor. And that's not what it is. It's, it starts in B, but this makes it a B. So putting this on here, now... Where this sixth string turns into a B, so anything I do from that, so now this is going to be, so now this is the shape of an E minor. So I'm playing the E minor because I'm making this, this capo is, is, is the bridge, is the new top of the thing right here, you know, it's not the, so, so now we're doing it, so I'm going to call out the chords the way you would play them if we didn't have a capo, so remember that, playing the chords the way without a capo. So we're going to do E minor, then a B seventh, then we're going to do a D add nine, which is a D with picking up your, your second finger. Then it'll be an A, then it's going to be a C. These are chords I'm calling out. They're not they're not in key when I'm saying hey it's an E minor. It's the it's the form we're playing that we would play down there if we didn't have the capo. So it's E minor, B seventh, D add nine, the A, the C, the G, the A minor, the B seventh. The chorus goes C, the G, the A minor, the E minor. You know there's fills going on too, like that. Down, 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 down. We're not going to worry about those fills. You'll figure those out. So I'm starting it over again. Now the chorus is C. with the the chords with the capo so that's that um i'm gonna have a lesson for the solo coming up soon too so have a great day